British Isles witnessed intense aerial activity in World War II, with thousands of Axis and Allied aircraft crashing due to combat, accidents or mechanical issues. But 80 years or so later, you won't see any Heinkel bombers or Spitfires laying about in farmers' fields. They have all long since been scrapped. There are only a few scattered remains visible on land, almost all in mountainous and remote areas, but little recognisable as aircraft. But there is somewhere where almost intact World War II aircraft still exist, untouched since the war, and they are all over the UK. I refer, of course, to bodies of inland water, rivers, lakes and reservoirs. Many aircraft ditched or crashed into lakes in particular, and many of the aircraft were never recovered because it was too difficult or uneconomical to do so at the time. But as the decades have passed, so the scarcity of World War II aircraft has increased until even smashed up wrecks have become worth salvaging for display or restoration. There have been, down the years, some fascinating examples discovered in lakes. In 1976, a Vickers Wellington Mark 1A bomber was accidentally found in the bottom of Loch Ness in Scotland. Remarkably intact since ditching there on New Year's Eve 1940 during a training mission that went wrong, the aircraft having already completed 14 operational missions over Germany. The wreck was discovered in 1976 using side-scan sonar, lying at 70 metres below the surface. The aircraft was recovered in 1985 and slowly restored and is currently on public display at Brooklands Museum in Surrey in England, one of only two mostly complete Wellingtons to exist today. In the late 1970s, the Dumfries and Galloway Diving Club in Scotland spent much time searching for a purported Spitfire Mark IIa that had been lost in Loch Doon in Scotland. In 1982, they successfully located the wreck. It had been lost in a training accident on the 25th of October 1941, then serving with a free Czech squadron of the RAF. The Spitfire was slowly and painstakingly restored for static display, finally going on display in 2017 after 35 years' work at the Dumfries and Galloway Aviation Museum. But many more wrecks remain known about, or at least suspected, but still unrecovered. The following is by no means an exhaustive list, but here is a fascinating selection of those that may one day be recovered. One of the most famous World War II planes is well known, and sits in Loch Foyle in Northern Ireland. A Vought F4U Corsair crashed into the loch on the 9th of October 1944, injuring the Canadian pilot. The wreck is exposed often at low tide, which has meant that it has been extensively picked over by souvenir hunters, and coupled with natural erosion, not very much remains today. There have been calls that what does remain should be recovered nonetheless. Back in Scotland, at the Lake of Menteith, a Spitfire Mark IIa was lost due to a training accident on the 3rd of June 1943 during low-flying manoeuvres, the pilot surviving. The missing aircraft had at least one aerial kill to its name. The RAF records do not indicate that the wreck was ever recovered. At 252 hectares in size, locating the Spitfire in the lake will be a major task, but the lake isn't too deep, averaging 6 metres, or around 20 feet, making any future recovery efforts a little bit easier. Scottish locks have swallowed many World War II aircraft, as the region was used extensively for training purposes during the war. At Loch Leven, two Hawker Hurricane fighters are currently located. The first, Hurricane V6786, was lost in the lock on the 7th of March 1943, the New Zealand pilot being killed in the crash and his body later recovered and buried ashore. The second aircraft, Hurricane Mark I of No. 56 Operational Training Unit, was lost on the 16th of April 1943, also during a training exercise. Loch Leven is a national nature reserve in Scotland which may pose problems for anyone planning to recover the wrecks. It's also fairly large at 13.3 square kilometres with a maximum depth of 13 metres or around 44 feet. Also in Scotland, an artificial lake, Busby Muir Reservoir, contains the wreck of a Bristol 152 Beaufort light bomber. 
X-8938 of the Torpedo Training Unit crashed in the reservoir on the 22nd of June 1941. In 2016, it was noted online that permission to search for this wreck was refused by the Scottish government as a disturbance of the plane would contaminate the water and fish stocks, so they said. However, I've been unable to confirm this. Down in England, a Bristol Blenheim 1F lies a mile off Lydney Pier on the Severn River at Wollaston, Gloucestershire, since crashing there on the 19th of June 1940. The aircraft from No. 5 Operational Training Unit struck a sandbank with its propellers whilst flying extremely low. An attempt was made to salvage the Blenheim, but only the tail was successfully retrieved. The rest of the bomber is apparently occasionally exposed by the shifting sands and remains largely intact. Our final example comes again from Northern Ireland, where side-scan sonar revealed this almost intact Catalina flying boat on the bottom of Loch Urn, its shape unmistakable. It is suspected that several surplus to requirements Catalinas were deliberately sunk by the British in Northern Irish lakes after the war, and may yet be found in the cold, dark waters. I'm guessing that the comments section of this video will be pretty lively, with further suspected sunken planes, and I'm guessing Norway, Germany, and the Great Lakes are going to feature prominently. Happy hunting! Many thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon, details in the description box below.